Welcome to the ET335 presentation on data latches. Okay, here I'm showing a gated data latch. And what we have is this circuitry here, and we have an enable, and we have data. So when it's enabled, the data will pass and go to Q. And Q0 will be opposite of Q. If we disable this by putting a low here, the data gets latched. So that's his job basically is to latch data until we can get to and use it. So here's our symbol. Data, enable, Q, and Q0. So if it's enabled, we put a one, zero in, we're going to get a zero out. If we're enabled with a high, we're going to put in a high on data and we're going to get a high out. If we go to zero, we're going to latch the data and ignore all of our inputs. So zero would be a latch condition. Here we have a gated data latch or what I call a level triggered. Okay, so what we're looking for is enables. So whenever this is high, we will look at the data. Okay, as long as it doesn't change within this enable period, it'll remain in latch. So here we're going to have a high, and it latches. It's going to stay high. Here we look at the data. It's a low. We're going to go low and stay low until we enable it again, and we're going to look. Now we got a high, and it's going to latch high until we enable again. So here we have a low. We're going to latch a low. Then it goes high. We're going to latch a high. Goes low. We're going to go low. And high and low. So this is kind of the transparent section. Whenever it uh, is enabled, we pass the data right on through. Here we have an edge trigger device. So an edge trigger is only going to work on that edge. So it's going to capture that data right at that split second that that goes from low to high. So this is a positive edge. You notice a triangle. Triangle, that means positive edge. So we're going to look at the low to high transition. That's a positive edge. So when we look at this, we have a clock input here. So whenever we go from low to high, we're going to look at the data. So right at this time here it's going to be high and nothing's going to happen until the next edge and it's low here it's going to go low then the next edge we look at the data again it's high then we look at the data again it's low so it only changes at the edge so this would be considered a non-transparent device okay here I'm showing a negative edge device so we have our arrow which means edge, and here's our little bubble on the end. That means negative edge, so we're interested in the high to low transition, the negative edge. So we're only interested in what's going on at the negative edge. So at that point, we're going to look at the data, and here it's high. Look at this one, it's low, high, and low, and we're only interested when the edge. Here we have a gated data latch and we're interested when the clock is high and only at that time. So we're high here, 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 and here. So let's go ahead and start down here. We're starting low and then we're going high and then it latches. Then we're looking at the data again. Comes over here and latches. We're looking at the data here again. It goes up and latches. And then we take a look at it here and it's high and it latches. Good. And here's our CAD drawing of our output and we looks like we did very well.
Okay, we have a positive edge triggered data latch. So we're going to look at the low to high transition. There we go. Low to high, positive edge. And we're only interested on that point. All right, so we're low here. When we look at it, And let's take a look, and it's high at that edge. We're going to look only at that edge. It's low. We're looking at this edge high. And we'll write out latched. Okay, here's our CAD answer for our positive edge triggered latch, and it looks good. Here's our negative edge triggered, and we're interested only in the high to low transition, which is already marked for us. So let's go ahead and go through and do the, do the diagram here. So it's high, low, high, and high. Good. And here's our nice CAD drawing, and it looks like we did very well. We nailed it.